Good evening. We begin tonight with a stalemate on both sides of the autism issue. Social Services Minister Lisa McLeod saying today she can't recall making inflammatory remarks to an autism group. She says she won't back down from funding changes. That as parents protested outside her Ottawa office again, vowing to keep coming until she does. CTV's Joanne Schnur has the latest tonight. Joanne? Minister Lisa McLeod helped launch Kindness Week at an event in Ottawa today. A few blocks away at her constituency office, parents of children with autism say they weren't feeling the kindness. The minister joined the Tamir Choir in a lively rendition of Lean On Me. This was the launch of Kindness Week best way to have a compassionate society is for us to think about other people. McLeod told the crowd that's what governments do and why she's committed to proceeding with her changes to autism funding in order to eliminate a long wait list for therapy. We're going to proceed with the plan. Our Last night, McLeod tweeted out an apology for comments she's alleged to have made to the Ontario Association for Behaviour Analysis, saying it would be a long four years if the organization didn't support the funding changes. But today... Did you say that to them? I can't recall, which is why I put the apology out. McLeod was joined at Kindness Week by MPP Jeremy Roberts. One, two, three, jump. His brother <laughs> Dylan, shown here from a CTV story six years ago, has autism. And while this is an issue close to his heart, Roberts supports his government's decision. My goal uh, in all of this... The reason I, I ran for office in the first place is to make sure that families don't end up in crisis situations like my family ended up in uh, when I was 15 years old. Hey now, hey later. Which is exactly what these families say is going to happen. In three months' time, we are going to be put out in the cold. We will not have any help from this government who seems and, and claims to be interested in the well-being of children. We need that help. That's, this is not what's happening. And while McLeod says she won't change her mind, we won't back down. these parents say they won't either. We won't back down. I mean, you're looking at parents that are tired, emotionally exhausted on a regular basis, and they'll still stand out here any chance they get to show that this is the wrong decision. McLeod admits this is an emotional issue. No one would disagree with that. But the two sides are miles apart on any other part of this and on where they go from here. Patricia. All right, CTV's Joanne Schnur live for us tonight. Thank you. Welcome.